Welcome to the High School Football Pigskin Show. I'm your host, Michael Anderson. Happy holidays, everyone. This is Michael Anderson, your host. I had the pleasure to attend the Corporate County versus Milton football game. When I arrived in Moultrie, Georgia, at their football stadium, also known as the Hog Pen, which is located in South Georgia, I saw a very festive atmosphere. People were really looking forward to this football game. Just sit back and take in the atmosphere. Folks, this was an epic barn burner. Before I attended this football game, I had no idea the series of events that would occur in the Hall pen. In the first quarter, with less than two minutes into the football game, Colbert's quarterback ran the ball for 33 yards for a Packers touchdown. Later, in the first quarter, with just three Milton offensive plays into the football game, Milton's quarterback threw a 35-yard touchdown pass to Fortune. At this point in the game, it was obvious that the Milton Eagles came to play and they were not intimidated by the Packers. Later, in the first quarter, the Packers drove the ball 63 yards and threw a touchdown pass to Ty Lee. The score was 14-7 with the Packers up. Later, Milton added two successful field goals, and the score was 14 to 13 with the Packers up. The hitting between these two teams was loud and could be heard from the stands. Judging from the intensity of this football game, it was apparent that both teams had no intentions of losing this football game. In the second quarter with five minutes and 15 seconds left, Colbert's quarterback threw a pass to Green and he was assisted by a Thomas Block. Green rambled into the end zone, 51 yards for a Packers touchdown. The score was 21 to 13, the Packers were up. Just before halftime, Milton attempted a 37 yard field goal and it was no good. The halftime score was 21 to 13 with the Packers up. In the third quarter, Colquitt's Shaheen King scored from two yards out to extend the Packers' lead 28-13. Later, in the third quarter, Colquitt's Shaheen King fumbled the ball and Milton took possession. At this point, Milton began to fight their way back into the football game. Later, in the third quarter, with two minutes and nine seconds left, the Colquitt County punter is sacked. Milton takes possession. 
Milton's number 33 scores a touchdown and a two-point conversion to cut into the Packers' lead. The score is 28-21. The Packers are up. Then, less than a minute later, Milton's Hawkins picks off Colquitt County's pass and scores from six yards out for a Milton touchdown. The score is tied 21 all, and at this point, it's anybody's football game, folks. In the fourth quarter, with seven minutes, 45 seconds left, the Packers drove the ball for 68 yards and nine plays through a pass to number two for a 10 yard touchdown. The score is 35 28, and the Packers are up. Later, in the fourth quarter, six minutes and 13 seconds left, Milton's quarterback threw a 57-yard touchdown pass to Fortune for an Eagles touchdown. The score was 35 all, all tied up. Later in the fourth quarter, Coca's offense drove the ball down the field and King scored a touchdown pass from eight yards out. The score was 42-35. The Packers were up. On Milton's next possession, after multiple penalties against the Packers, the Packers stout defense pulls off Milton's offense. The Packers take possession, kneel the ball down, and runs the clock out. The final score was 42-35 with Colquitt the victor. Some of my final thoughts were uh, the Milton Eagles were an outstanding football team and they should hold their heads up high. Uh, their coaching staff did an outstanding job preparing those young men for this football game, so hats off to them. Uh, the, the players played with a military mindset and they had no quit in them. Uh, they just came up a little short uh, Friday night. Um, they did an overall good job of containing Colquitt's number 22. Um, they finished the season 11-2 in this particular game, they got 319 offensive yards against Colquitt. On the other hand, the Colquitt Packers played like champions by always finding a way to win the football game. Hats off to their great coaching staff for getting them prepared for this football game. Also, they did a good job of containing Milton's number 33. King finished the game with 133 yards. The Colquitt quarterback finished the game with 221 yards and two touchdowns, and Green had seven catches for 131 yards. Overall, the Packers rushed for 180 yards, and they threw for 221 yards, which was a very balanced attack. As far as my playoff projections, um, my projection um, for the upcoming Etowah versus Archer game uh, is that I feel like Archer will win this football game. Um, Archer is operating on all cylinders. Um, they're doing a real good job of executing on offense and defense. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, they've dominated two good teams in Hillgrove and Lee County. Uh, so how can you pick against Archer? So Archer is my pick. My projection for the upcoming game between Colquitt and McEachern. Well, this is a hard one for me because I'm from the uh, McEachern Hillgrove area. Um, but I project that Colquitt will win this game in a very close game. Colquitt is playing at home, and you know they are very, very strong at home. Um, Milton did test Colquitt's secondary, and McEachern could pose great threats to Colquitt's defense in this area. McEachern's offense is awesome but their defense is not as good as their offense. Um, and I don't think they're going to be able to contain uh, the Packers vaunted spread offense all four quarters. Um, as I was leaving the uh, Milton Coakley game, uh, some young uh, Packer fans told me that uh, they felt like the Atlanta boys aren't as uh, strong as, as the country boys uh, from South. So basically they're saying that they feel like the toughness of the South Georgia players will prevail against McEachern. Well, those were my playoff projections. Enjoy your Friday night games.
do the Harlem Shake. Take me to your football game. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. Thank you for tuning in to the High School Football Pigskin Show. Be sure to tune in to our next show on my channel, Morel Productions.